Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. I just finished hiking the Georgia section of the Appalachian Trail and um, it was a wonderful experience. I'm so glad I did it. Um, I've always been fascinated by the Georgia piece of the Appalachian Trail, primarily because the northbounders um, start there. And so there's a lot of uh, books about it. There's um, podcasts about it and YouTube videos about it. So I um, wanted to check it out for myself and experience um, the Georgia section. I've always wanted to uh, be at Amicalola Falls and uh, I arrived a little too late uh, to check in tonight. So uh, I'll have to do that in the morning, but I wanna go take a look at the falls uh, and see what it's like. went up to Amicalola Lodge. Amicalola Lodge was just beautiful and um, got to experience what the through hikers who begin their hike or section hikers like me who begin their hike at Amicalola Falls get to enjoy when they stay at Amicalola Lodge. Even though I wasn't a through hiker, um, I had a wonderful experience checking in. Uh, I told them at the registration room at Amicalola Falls Visitor Center that I was just a section hiker and they couldn't have been nicer. They were like, no, you're gonna register. And um, they set me up. They did an orientation for me, just like for the ones they were doing for the through hikers and um, it was really educational and they were terrific to me. They even gave me a, a yellow badge, which I think everyone on the trail thought I was a through hiker, um, but um, 
probably the pace at which I walked outed me as someone who was not a through hiker. Mm -hmm. I reached the Springer Mountain parking lot and uh, drove up on the service road. It was really a windy dirt road, but uh, it didn't take too long to get up here, about 45 minutes from Amakalola Falls. I checked in and uh, all set to go. It's cloudy and uh, chilly up here, but just uh, can't wait to get going. So I'm gonna head about a mile south to get to Springer Mountain and then start on the Appalachian Trail heading northbound. The parking lot at the Springer Mountain parking area has about space for, I don't know, about 20 cars and uh, you can park for 14 days. Finally on top of Springer Mountain and uh, I'm up here with TMI and Old Man. Hey guys. Hey, <laughs> thanks for to Springer Mountain. <laughs> thanks for teaching me the ropes. Yeah. Springer the mountain. No more Springer from here. Here's your, here's your log book. Oh, okay, cool. You gotta get credit. First place on the AT. Can't wait to go get it. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's cloudy out there, but I love the vibe. Wind is howling through the mountain laurel. First privy stop on the AT. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh. Stover Creek shelter. Made it to Three Forks. It's beautiful here. Um, it's taken me about two hours from Springer Mountain, and uh, I think it's about 4.1 miles so far. I took a side trail for Long Creek Falls, and it was a Blue Blaze Trail, and I'm so glad I did. I'm going to eat lunch by the falls. It's incredible. So about a mile from Hawk Mountain Shelter, it started to rain, uh, not too bad, but uh, definitely coming down and uh, time to set up camp. Got my tent set up, the rain stopped for a little while. There's home for the night at Hawk Mountain Shelter. There's a few tents interspersed throughout the woods, but probably more to come. Night one, pouring rain. Memorable night at Hawk Mountain Shelter. Pouring rain all night. Actually, couldn't wait to get back out on the trail. The trail is really muddy this morning. I need to just try to go slow. 
and take it easy. Flowers in 15 minutes in this morning, and we took a pack off break at Cooper Gap, and um, I was surprised that the um, elevation out of Horse Gap was um, pretty tough. So um, back down into another gap, so that probably means on the way up again. So just take a little break and then back. Last night's rain must have filled this creek. It's a little more difficult to cross today, I bet, than yesterday. After about 12 and a half miles today, I was gassed and uh, hadn't really eaten other than a bar for breakfast. So when I got to Woody Gap and I saw a bunch of these guys from Georgia who set up their annual uh, picnic for all the through hikers, it was the best trail magic in the world. Water pants and white cloth, thank you so much. This is an incredible spread. Have a great hike. Thank you. <laughs> great meeting you guys, man. See ya, take care. You care. So much. Yeah. How you doing? I mean, set up last night and like, well, we're Through hiker veteran me. right there, baby. Thank you guys. I was able to stop at the Above the Clouds Hostel. Above the Clouds Hostel was just wonderful, terrific stay there. Yeah, when you would, they would add the Lucky, thank you for an awesome stay. Thank you, my pleasure, man. You do it right. Day three, starting at Woody Gap. It is freezing. It's like 35 mile an hour winds. Uh, but I didn't get to see these mountains yesterday because of all the fog and overcast skies. But it's cold! Two hours in today and it's time for my first pack off break. It's a nice spot with a stone looking out over these mountains. So uh, get a little couple snacks and then back at it. Coming up to the Blood Mountain Shelter. I've been looking forward to seeing this. So here we go. The view from Blood Mountain is incredible. I'm kind of tucked in against the rocks to block the wind, but when I look around, this is what I can see. Just awesome. Coming down off of Blood Mountain to mountain crossings at Neil's Gap.
looking for a place to stay tonight and the people at Mountain Crossings recommended the Blood Mountain cabins. And so I rented a cabin for the night for $85, hiker special. And here is my place for the night. Pretty nice for $85, got it all to myself. Shower, beds, linens, towels, excited. I had an awesome stay last night at Blood Mountain Cabins. They were, uh, it's just a perfect spot to come at Neil Gap. And um, I'll take you on a little tour of the grounds. This is the main house where you get your key. It's right off the road. To get your key, uh, your key is hanging on a little clippy on the wall and you just pick it up and you go and then you return the key when you're done in the main house and the properties are all looking out that way uh, in this direction is meal gap cabins are all situated in the woods secluded quiet and just a really short walk from the trail this was my cabin last night. It was the closest one to the access path, which is perfect for me. And this is the way back to the trail. I just crested the hill after Neil Gap and uh, without the foliage on the tree, you get pretty much 365 views into the mountains all around. So uh, it's pretty nice up here. I really like it. Today's mid morning break spot is spectacular. It's just amazingly beautiful. I can't believe I get to be out here. Made it to Unicoi Gap, uh, 23.26 miles from Eel Gap to Unicoi Gap in one day. It's uh, 10 hours and 38 minutes and 47.57 in elevation. After getting into Unicoi Gap late last night, I went into Hiawassee so I could mail some stuff back to home. So it's a nice little trail town. Um, out back at it from Unicoi Gap. At Unicoi Gap, met another couple of trail angels who were making pancakes just before, uh, for the morning, for before people were getting on the trail. Hi, I'm Mun. I'm a Pennsylvania trail angel, 51 years of doing trail magic for people and hiking and enjoying and loving all the hikers. You have to hear some bluegrass on trail. Have a great day, everybody.
little mishap with the stove today, but I ended up eating the best backpackers pantry shepherd's pie for lunch in a great spot. Today's adventure is taking me from Unicoi Gap, um, heading to Dix Creek Gap. It's been a really beautiful day, perfect weather, um, maybe even a little too hot, but it's March, so can't complain. Um, I think I have about three and a half more miles to get to Dix Creek Gap, and I cannot wait to finish. It's been a long day. There are a few really big climbs today um, with a few miles left. I'm already at 4,128 feet of elevation gain. And there's a big climb coming out of Unicoi Gap and a climb at Trey Mountain. And I just finished Kelly Knob. And uh, people that were hiking near me, uh, husband and wife, kept cursing Kelly. I had no idea who Kelly was. I had to ask. Um, I wasn't looking at the map to see it was Kelly Knob. So now I know. Uh, I'm not going to curse Kelly yet because I still have to make my way down the mountain. So keep going. Made it to Dix Creek Gap. It has been a long day and I'm um, psyched to get to a hostel. I had to walk all over the parking lot at Dix Creek Gap just to get a half of a cell signal, half of a bar of cell service. And um, took me about 20 minutes. I finally got through, so hopefully they could hear me and someone will come get me. Uh, can't wait to eat. Stay in the night at uh, Around the Bend Hostel and um, it's just down the road from Dix Creek Gap. So, looking forward to it. Making pizza in the oven and washing my laundry at the same time. Seven thirty-six in the morning and getting started um, on the last day in Georgia of the Appalachian Trail. Um, had a good stay last night at the Around the Bend Hostel and got the first shuttle at seven thirty a.m. from the hostel. Um, had some waffles for breakfast and make your own, and they were great. Now heading out. I love these uh, cool Georgia mornings. Last day of my six-day Appalachian Trail Georgia section hike. And uh, it's been great. Lots of ups and downs, literally, but <clears throat> not figuratively. So um, I'm amazed at how many uh, ups and downs there are on the trail uh, in Georgia. So you get to one high peak and then you think you've got it covered and then you go down a steep decline and back up another one so you won't miss that but it's beautiful out here and um, I feel fortunate so but I'm looking forward to getting to the North Carolina border calling it an adventure I think the goal is in sight. I'm so excited to get to the border. From Georgia to North Carolina. Well, it isn't exactly the summit of Mount Whitney or the top of Mount Katahdin, but I'm sure happy to have knocked off the Georgia section of the Appalachian Trail. Happy to be in North Carolina. I want to thank my shuttle driver, Jeff Moon. Um, he picked me up in uh, Hiawassee when I went in for 
a resupply and he picked me up at the post office where I was mailing some things back home and he drove me up to Unicoi Gap in the morning and then when I needed a ride after I touched the border sign between Georgia and North Carolina he picked me up at uh, Blue Ridge Gap which was a challenging drive through an old dirt road uh, he picked me up there and brought me back to Springer Mountain, where I am now, uh, to the Springer Mountain parking area. So, Jeff, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your help. Road, so you got to carry enough fiddles to, to, to um, see all these rocks right here. We're all in the road. All, all that windrow of rocks, it's all back there. Every bit of that, they blasted out of this road, and it made just unbelievable. You had to pick your way just back and forth. Well. Some of them just have video recording warning signs, but there's a real common one you see, and that's um, warning trespassers will be shot, survivors will be shot again. Oh my God. And probably field dressed and eaten. No, I've never seen that, but.